Okay. We're just gonna mosey on out. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Goes my axe. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Oh, I saw my axe. That's good. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Oh, whoa. See the light. Well, that's a little bit of a trouble. Just a smidge bit of trouble. Ah, it's fine. No big deal. Come on, give me time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Glad we need your help. Please hurry! Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Wow, thanks. We'll make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this... Oh my god. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. 
Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. <laughs> That you get punched in the face. I mean, you kind of deserved it. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. If citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are urged to be near their radios and await further instructions. Moving to the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, or Orlando may become necessary. Oh man, Clementine, it was so awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all places. And then this one time, Derek and Superdash are going to take the glove off. Well, Derek, I don't want to make a mess. You never pay attention to the way you need. just look at it. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 9 I think I need to go. Who would left? Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening here. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Just look over. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. Not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Oh, these are going to be important. Find your friend. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. <laughs> Let's hope. You guys be safe. Oh, yeah. baby Glenn. Then, you know, so hopeful. If this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. 
Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? <laughs> Clementine, I No. Mean, earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Thanks I guess. You got it. Did you check the glove box? How you doing, Doug? Oh my god, Doug is just jabbering on. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thankfully. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. It's okay. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Listen, she doesn't even know what a battery is. So I'm sorry. She was a good shot, but uh, I'm sorry. She didn't even know what a battery was. She didn't know how to put batteries in a read. I'm sorry. She was kind of stupid. Oh, man. Check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on her shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't everything. Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? I'm going to kill him. I am going to kill him. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Yeah, sure. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. <laughs> Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I, I think they would probably shoot first, ask questions later. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Cut yeah, the power. You're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. That's not. You just had to say something, though, didn't you? <laughs> okay. It's fantastic. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. 
When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. Take it. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take Whoa. what we want! There's too many of them! Ah! 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 You've never liked my dad. Even back in the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. <laughs> no more, please! No more, please! Please. She's got to. <laughs> yep. That's great. <laughs> wow, we are getting to a little bit of a tussle with the... Uh... <clears throat> oh, this is nice. I like to know how I lied. I... I mean, I told the truth, but... Didn't say specifics. I mean, I was being led out of town by a cop. <laughs> hey. Oh, well. I never liked that old man. Didn't like him in the show, didn't like him now. It's fine, who cares? <laughs> he ends up with a barn full of walkers anyways because he thinks they can be cured. Also, when you're in a bad situation, never say it can't get any worse or anything like that. Because chances are, it's gonna get worse. Any negative thought or something, just, just keep it to yourself. Don't manifest anything into existence. Because now look at us. We're stuck in a hotel with no power. And no food. Surrounded by walkers. And bandits. Apparently. And the lady still doesn't like us. The dude is still looking like us. You know what? It's fine. I might have had a deal with escalating that just a little bit. But it's fine. Okay? It's fine. We're okay. And, uh, yeah. Oh god, she <laughs> Everything looks like it is going to hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I, I got drive. another good one for you. That's gonna show us all that quickies. Ow, ow, ow. The pain. All by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. 
And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. I'm sorry, he kind of asked to have his ass kicked. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Sir, please. Inappropriate behavior is inappropriate. Three months later, huh? Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. This is when living by a pond night, or the ocean might be really great, because then you can go fishing. Pie. You probably get sick nuts. of fish, but he's starting to lose it. It's food. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah. Larry's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Zach killed the senator. So okay. it's a senator. Good lord. <clears throat> What's this putting that much of a high profile? Now, you're gonna shoot at a bird. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Okay. I'm believing you. Ah! See, I didn't do is it! That Kenny? I don't know. Come on. I mean, you're taking a risk when you're shooting, too, like that. That bullet probably hit something else. Pearl, we know. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, it's a bunch of college kids, it looks like. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Hey, you guys okay? High school kids, it looks get it like. Off. Get it off, god damn it, get, get it off me. Promise, maybe they can help. 
These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was oh my special God. forces. I know what I'm doing. Not just see if shut you up. Can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Here comes the zombies because people are loud. There's no release latch. Shit. Can you dig it out of the ground? Shit. Walkers. It's now or never leave. Please get me out of this. Mark, okay, I'm about back. to cut your leg off, okay? Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Do you think you can get it open? Please, Please hurry! Get me out! Is he? Is he gonna make it? This can't be. Run it, hurry! Uh, this, is uh, this is so bad. Oh God! Uh, let's go! Oh, let's go! Man. Oh man! Yep. Okay, we're cutting your leg off. I am sorry about this. Probably it has to be that. No! 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 Try the trap again! Anything, please! I'm sorry! It has to be done. Uh, cut off his fucking leg! <laughs> we don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go! Now! Uh, <laughs> I can live without a leg, we can, we can make you! I can't keep him back forever! We can make you a prosthetic. Uh, Do not worry- oh god, Jesus Christ. Shit. Is he... He passed out. Could I have He's just left him? him I wonder if I could have just left him. I feel like this dude's dead either way. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Move it, Travis! Oh my god. Why do people fall? Bye, Travis. No! Lovely. Bye, Travis. <laughs> Sorry. The gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell are they? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? 
We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Ugh. Yikes. Dude, you on. think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate <coughs> me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. See some those cheese and uh, crackers. Oh my god, I used to eat those all the time as a kid. Four snacks, ten hungry people. Well, two are already. We're giving the children some. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Here, you annoying hey, little kid. How about a little food? Oh my god, Jesus Christ, kid. Oh my god. Here. Yeah, oh man, I'm so hungry. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know. But Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. True. 
Will you hold the damn board steady? Jeez, dude, why are you yelling so much? What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. For the love of God, dude. Shut up. Good lord, I don't like you. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. True. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I mean, live near the water, you can fish. Like I said, you'd probably get tired of fish, but at least you'd have food. I want to find her hat. I got in my nose. <clears throat> have you seen a hat anywhere, ma'am? Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Sure. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Hey, Doug. Nope, <clears throat> oh, jeez. What's up, Lee? Ow. What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. How does it work? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four bells. So... So we'll know where they are and how long we have. Smart. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. <laughs> Don't suppose I could interest you in some food. Apple, Doug? Sure. I never used to eat fruit. Now this seems like just about the best thing in the world. Thanks, Lee. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I can't really look around anywhere to see if I can find her hat. What's that for? Oh, that, that was my first attempt at making an alarm system. The new version is much more sophisticated. Cool. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. How did I cut that guy's leg off? Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, 
I know her intentions are good, but but nothing. She's making the smart choice. Those oh my God! Who was talking to you? To go. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <sighs> here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on. I don't trust you with Cut the axe. Some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... <laughs> Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. You're cranky 24-7, dude, so don't even try it. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out? What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. I am ben, on... Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, Thanks. come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Well... Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> Ow, my head. Again. Push it off. I don't want to hit you. Give me a prompt to do anything. All right. I got him. Yep. Clumsy piece of wood. Thanks. I don't know how that works. Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Oh my god, I'm going to. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. 
You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so, but they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but... Uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Wait. <laughs> so, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? Uh, yep. Guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Oh my God. <laughs> What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there, anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. <laughs> well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but... Now it's... You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? Shit, you get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Haven't noticed. 
Those look like the people who oh, raided okay. my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fuck you knew we were hungry, and all. you guys were keeping what? it all for yourself! What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. Hope yeah, they'll probably leave. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, God! Fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah, they worked it out alright. Yeah. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. To hell in a handbasket. Youch. That's fine. Totally okay. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing. Oh, Generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Ever have any accidents? Uh, it's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the uh. old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Then <laughs> just go right on in there and eat it. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Hmm. Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you uh. hungry souls. Watching It'd be you. nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, I want you now. The why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Bye. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be eh. a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go cool. top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play yeah, it's a nice train, fence, isn't it? Turn out to be a place we can stay. <laughs> Probably like not. I don't. <laughs> Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. 
And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. All right. Yep. At least I got my axe back. It's always great. Speaking of starving, I'm kind of hungry.